Grenada's Prime Minister, Dr. the Right Honorable Keith Mitchell, has reiterated CARICOM's commitment to achieving full elimination of roaming charges and establishing a harmonized regional regulatory framework. Addressing a meeting of regulators and key stakeholders organized by the Caribbean Telecommunications Union on Thursday, the Prime Minister said firm commitment remains. This morning I say to you without reservation that CARICOM heads of government are committed to moving this agenda forward. However, we also recognize our own obligation to address some of the concerns raised by the operators in relation to the complexity of the regional regulatory environment and how this impacts operational costs and the ease of doing business. We are also cognizant that there are other players in the market that may not operate at the size and scale of the dominant providers but nevertheless, they must be taken into account in order to ensure that the national and regional markets remain vibrant and very much competitive. The Prime Minister added the issue of a harmonized regional regulatory framework is one that deserves our urgent consideration. He said, and I quote, We must turn our attention to this. Rest assured that I, in my capacity as lead head for science and technology, including ICT, along with my colleague heads of government, are fully supportive and will provide the leadership required to take us forward. We have always, within CARICOM, respected the sovereignty and diversity of each member state's within the regional grouping. This does not and should not prevent us from agreeing on a practical, rational and reasonable approaches in, regular, reg, in the regulation of our key sectors to make our markets more conducive to growth and investment and the promotion of innovation across all sectors. We have found and will continue to find ways of doing this in the best interest of the entire Caribbean people. Sisters and brothers, I wish you a fruitful discussion today. Rest assured that I, in my capacity as lead head for science and technology, including ICT, along with my colleague heads of government, are fully supportive and will provide the leadership required to take this forward. Dr. Mitchell acknowledged the assistance of key partners and stakeholders such as the International Telecommunications Union, which has undertaken a study of the regulatory environment.